The Sahel region is sometimes known as the lawless land. It's vast, extremely dry and sparsely populated. But the apparent emptiness is an illusion. The region is teeming with armed groups linked to Al-Qaeda and traffickers in people, illegal drugs and other contraband. They rule by fear and the victims are local people who are killed or displaced. This Al-Qaeda video shows people having testimony before being executed. Unknown men broke into my husband's home in Timbuktu and shot him dead in the presence of our children. They accused him of having links with foreigners, but he never done any of that. Now I'm left to look after five children alone. The absence of a central government which can provide security is taking a heavy toll. Foreign armies have been trying to fill the security void for the past four years, which was when the MINUSMA force was created. The multinational integrated stabilization mission in Mali is stationed at bases like this one. It hosts troops from up to 40 nations as part of the UN force. But the limitations of what MINUSMA could achieve became evident from its inability to stop Al-Qaeda attacks or even defend its own troops. France has thousands of troops deployed in the region. Soldiers from Operation Barkhane patrol the Sahel from Chad to Niger and on to northern Mali. Now a force of up to 5,000 soldiers from the Sahel nations of Mali, Chad, Niger, Burkina Faso and Mauritania has been created. The aim of the African armies is to be at the forefront of the war on armed groups. France supports the initiative, which was given approval last month by the UN Security Council. But aside from the European Union pledging around $50 million, the new force remains largely underfunded. Critics believe a different approach is needed in Mali and the Sahel. Excluding the idea of peaceful dialogue makes the situation more complicated. The military solution should not be the only solution available. It caused revolution among many people. The idea that we should just kill and kill and kill, and that we wage war on people that we can't see or locate or identify, put African nations in a weak position. Peace talks have been held with nationalist rebels, though none of the peace agreements have been implemented. As to how to deal with Al-Qaeda, France and the Sahel nations are clearly still betting on the military solution. Mohamed Fall, Al Jazeera, Bamako.